Hi, hier ist Müller von Creator und ihr seht Super Scum. You're watching superscom.com. I'm Carlos Reali. Uh, we're here with the one and only Milly, of course, from Creator. Thank you so much, man, for having us here, giving us a little bit of your time. Appreciate it. And welcome back to Denver oh, once again. Man. 31 year career. You know, you started, you went from Tyrant in 1982. Yeah, if, you, if you count that. Of yes. course, yeah. Tormentor yeah. in 1984. Yeah. Ah, you remember that. <laughs> 31 years later, celebrating this very lengthy and influential career. Mm -hmm. So just um, out of personal curiosity, and I'm sure fans, you know, we probably would like to know, like, how would you pretty much describe your career in, in creator or as a musician or creator's career? Oh, that's a tough one because I never saw it as a career. Mm. To me, it was always uh, something that I did because I there was a... a, a I was driven to do it, yeah. you know. There's never, a, there's has no, never been a career plan uh, whatsoever. Um, and when we started the band, being uh, 12, 13 year old kids, um, we never, never would have imagined that I would still sit here uh, with you in the year 2013 and talk to you. You know, it's, it's, uh, it just wasn't, wasn't, it, which did there was. It was too far away, and and of course no one thinks like that. And I think, um, how would I describe the career, so to speak? I don't know. I I'd say that it's been a ride, of course, and it's still it, uh, we're still on it, and uh, we will we will um, be on it for as long as we can. You know, it's always <laughs> good to hear, man. That's always what the fans want to hear as well. You know, it's like relentless yes. over here, and. It, 31 years, I mean, yeah, it, it's back basically a lifestyle, lifetime. yeah, and a lifetime and a lifestyle and somewhat of a career as well as a musician. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. just a little bit of everything, and it's very, very, yeah, we're very like happy that you're but, here but, in but, 2013. But, but like <laughs> but, yeah, but like I said, um, people, I mean, of course, it is mm -hmm. some kind of a job, but I, 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 I never saw it as a job. To me, it's like I play guitar and exactly. I sing and I like yeah, it, you know. Absolutely. Yes, and you're in a band, and you're touring the yeah, world, and I mean, you're recording. How much could you ask for, you know? Along with, you know, creator, and in, in, in the influence the creators had, um, the band has always had a, a, a mission with the lyrics, you know, social issues, if you will, social protests. You've had many different themes, from hate, destruction, religion, human nature, terrorism, dystopia. I mean, you've had a lot you know, to cover. <laughs> but... Uh, why, why the focus for this theme? Is it something that is a personal interest of you, or is it just more of like a thrash metal kind of expectation, if you will? Because it's always about social protests most of the time, in a good way, of course, creating conscience. And I don't know. I mean, I don't, I don't think I don't think it's 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 a, a thrash metal typical thrash metal thing. Mm -hmm. um, some bands do it, like like um, they they put some political stuff in there. Some bands don't, mm -hmm. and I think when we started out, there was a lot more political thrash metal bands. Um, like I said. And I, I've never, um, I, I don't picture Creator being a political band. No, yeah. It's more, it's more like a, we, we, we cover uh, those topics because we think that there's certain things. When I start writing lyrics that come to mind, injustice, uh, bad things, you know, uh, things that I kind of get angry, angry about, yeah. you know, and um, um, of course it fits the music. Yeah, of course, yeah, if it's yeah. the music and it's, um, it's, it's, I wouldn't want to go as far as saying it's poetry, but it is in a way because I kind of, I kind of try to, to just describe of how I see things without talking about things in general. I, I never, I would never s write a song about a certain event that happened, you know, like, okay. let's say September 11th. Yeah. Um, was a was a huge uh, disaster and a, a, the, one of the world's biggest catastrophes. But and it inspired me to write the song "Enemy of God." But it's not really about that, you know. It's just about a, a shock, a world that um, all of a sudden, you know, an inspiration falls factor. Apart. Yeah, yeah that, that ended up in that. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. And uh, that's li it's like that with a lot of those lyrics. There's never a certain thing we don't write about the. Uh, 
uh, tsunami in uh, wherever. You know, we write. If something like that happens, I I I, I be in, I, I try to get inspir- uh, it's, it's a source of inspiration. No, and that's that's good. Well, it's it's a lyrical legacy that you have. Thank you. you. Know, by now, of course, a lot of people react to that. It, it empowers our own metal community. It, sometimes it brings those issues to the forefront. We think mm-hmm. about them. Mm-hmm. Some people may not pay attention to the lyrics. They like the music. That's perfectly fine well, too. Yeah, whatever. But whatever you know, it's like you're, you're, doing, know? you're doing you're yeah, doing your exactly. part as well. Now, saying that you don't specifically deal with one issue. I mean, one specific event. You do have issues that you yes. deal with, and yes. and I did want to ask you because. Um, you know, we care. We want to be part of the solution mm-hmm. as well, if you will. Death to the world mm-hmm. has an obvious overtone of, yeah. uh, of, of uh, our environmental issues, yeah. if you will. Yes. So, basically, you know, what are your thoughts on these global issues regarding our environment? Because it's very obvious yes, in the it lyrics. Is, it it's is. just very in your face. Mm. I just wanted to... Uh, there's on, on, the, on the album Terrible Certainty, there's a song called Toxic Trace. Mm-hmm. And Death to the World is kind of like part two of this. Okay. Um, Toxic Trace was written in 87, 88 and um, back then it was more like the fear of a, an, uh, the atomic bomb. Yeah. Now it's now we see what's wrong with the environment and we don't change much. Of course there is like um, people are getting more aware, more conscious about the fact that things are pretty messed up. But nobody changes something again. Or do, does something about it, and um, and it's a hard. Uh, of course, I mean, look around. I mean, we have plastic everywhere. Um, we got that. That's just how we live, you know. And um, um, death to the world is um, um, basically toxic trace part two. I mean, we've r- written that song w- way back and talking about like what's gonna happen to the environment if the atomic bomb explodes, yeah. and this is what's happened what's going to happen to the environment if we keep living how we live at the moment and um i uh it's basically that and I, we even have in the middle of the song there's even like a tribute riff to um to uh toxic trace so it's like it closes the circle in a way you know it's like it's nice moving along you know with the career with the lyrical themes uh you specifically um in a time, basically, an industry where side projects are very common. You know, a lot of people do them, if you will. You seem to have more of an inclination for guest appearances, yeah, yeah, yeah. if you will. Yeah, nail within it. I cannot, I cannot say no. That's my problem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was the Caliban, Volby, Lacrimosa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it was the last one. But you did have I did, I did Voodoo well, Cult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ninety four, ninety six. That was actually not my band. Okay, um, but I. Um, um, well, that was with Dave Lombardo, with Chalk from Chuck. Death, and then of course I mean, it was a a lineup, right? Bolt. Oh my God, it's like you know. But the thing is, let me put it this way: I don't want to. I, I was I was happy to have been involved in that, but it was not. None of us, none of the musicians that played on that record, had influence on the songwriting. Okay, it was all the guy Philip Boa, who was not a metalhead. Mm-hmm. That's why I I think it could have been the the project that. To me, it's the project that was there, but that never happened. If you if you if you know what I mean, yeah. um, all these great musicians playing the song by a guy, or songs by a guy that is not from metal, um, doesn't have a metal back, yes. background. And, and back in ninety four, ninety six, when it was exactly metal was kind of yeah, going through a yeah, lot of change, yeah, and yeah. music and, and, and all that. It, it would have been a cool project if we would have re- rehearsed once or twice. We've never, <laughs> uh, we've never even. I mean, some of the musicians that have been involved in a pro- project I've never um, even met. So why why no more side project? I mean, it's just something that you just it takes too much time <sighs> away from creator from your main focus. What is it? I mean, it's just a distraction. Uh, I have to say one thing. No offense to other bands, uh, but I think being productive is not always doesn't always equal being creative. Yeah, you we're know, doing ten things at the same exactly. time. Exactly, it's not. It's not. If you have like a, if you if you're able to, to to like, put out records every year, then you're gifted, I guess. But I want quality. You know, and um, I don't want to release an album where there's only one or two good songs on it. And that's what w- would would happen if I would have like a record every year plus ten side projects. Yeah. You know, you can only be that good as a as a musician, and 
there's only so much in you and you have to like focus on what what's there and and try to bring that out and and put that in one band in my opinion you know i have a friend where it works um the guy from ed guy avantasia uh i think he does it pretty well i mean ed guy and avantasia to me they kind of sound alike but different you know but it's that's quality music other people when they put out too many side projects i'm not even interested you know yeah, like quantity versus quality. Exactly. If you were diluting. There was a couple. The there has been maybe three or four side project, projects that I really liked. One was uh, Me Took Seed from way back, a Napalm Death side project. Then there was uh, SOD, of course, and the Nail Bomb. I liked that. But other than that, oh, that's I, a cult, right yeah, there. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You're kidding. We were talking but, to Max. But, but but other 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 than that, that is still as big as ever. Yeah. Is. <laughs> other than that, uh, maybe that one that uh, Michael Emmert did. Um, the spiritual beggars that was also okay, a good side yeah. project but that's the real band almost um whatever i'm i'm like i'm not a big fan you know of side projects no i hear you and then you know nobody has to do no them. no 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 it's just enough records out but there, you, know, you know some people just a lot of fans want to see oh, yeah. more of yeah, you yeah, more yeah, playing yeah, yeah, yeah. more thrashing yeah, yeah, yeah. you know more ripping you yeah, know yeah, the guitar parts yeah. and all this and like you said sometimes you focus on creator that is yeah. your outlet and it has worked very yeah, well yeah, of course yeah, look yeah. at the creator yeah, career yeah, yeah. the success of course as well so Touring wise, I remember not too long ago you were talking that, um, uh, unfortunately, you explained that a Creator Destruction and Sodom tour wouldn't happen. Um, you already toured with Destruction mm -hmm. and, and Sodom. Sodom, yes, and but Sodom also doesn't like to tour no, they don't like for to long tour. periods. No. Uh, if you're watching this, you have forgotten us forever. Please, <laughs> Sodom, you never come to the U.S. Only the East Coast. <laughs> but um, you said that that tour wouldn't happen. I would but, love this tour to happen. No, I know, I know, I know. I, I'm not, I'm not, yeah. Nobody's blaming you. Are you saying that? Unfortunately, yeah, it, from logistics, yeah, it wouldn't happen. But who? And I'll put you in the spot here. Who would you like to tour with in the future that you haven't, or that maybe you have and you want to repeat a good oh, bill? And, then, and oh, you have a really good one yeah, right exactly. now. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we're, we're in just, this we're North just, American tour. We're just, we're just, um, we're just happy to tour whatever um, with, with with any band that's cool. To me, to me, it's mostly about the the personalities. We have to get along. Yeah. We have to like the music somehow, you know. Um, uh, we don't have to be the biggest fans of any of, of any band that we're touring with, but we there has to be a certain something to them, you know. And we have toured with so many great bands, and um, hopefully in the future we'll tour with. Um, we, we we were planning on doing you know, a run with Testament at one point. It never happened. Hopefully in the future that will happen. Oh, Death Angel would be a great thing yeah, for the absolutely. U.S. Um, many many bands you know I'm so happy that we're all with Overkill at the moment yeah no it's you know? a great and, and, and it's, it's a great bill and it worked well every night there's no there's no uh, egos involved everyone has a great time and a lot fans, of history between history the two and, a lot and, of fans you know, the of fans, course the fans really like that they, they, they want this kind oh, of bill oh yeah it's a great one yeah. you know and it's not like we've, we've tried many many things we've tried to put like strange bands on the bill you know whatever and and um different bands different genres mix it up and it never worked it always works when you get like the real metal out there you know what i mean which is kick ass the whole <laughs> bill the whole day and then that's it you go home you can't hear shit so. yeah exactly, exactly. <laughs> and you can't feel your neck of course. <laughs> what's next for creator i mean is there anything in the works beyond that tour another tour i mean yeah. can, can we talk uh demoing new material writing new material you know i'm, I'm that one you get all the time but I'm, fans always want to know yeah, what's course, the update. Of course, of course. Of course. I'm, I'm, I, I asked. I mean, I don't really even know myself. I all I know is that we're playing. We're already scheduled for next year. We, we there's a there's an Australian tour in the works. Oh, there's a Japanese tour in the works, and um, Asian tour in general. Mm -hmm. And um, we want to do another run in the U.S. Oh wow! Yeah, one more, and then that's it. And then we'll start riding. Or maybe I I start demoing stuff when we will have like three months off after this, okay. and I wanna I wanna my my goal is to have, uh, get at least one or two songs or something you know to start somewhere you know and maybe throw it into the tour set list no. and maybe test no. it no oh, complete surprise <laughs> okay we're uh, not not treating the fans that way <laughs> no it's just it's just a YouTube you know and then it gets all over the internet that's true like, yeah um there's, there's there's some bands that put out new songs and you don't and you're like okay is it good or not you know you cannot tell you know it's absolutely bad quality well then, then it's recorded with a cell phone and sounds course, like shit so yeah course, absolutely it's gonna you get bad. a wrong impression you know an idea of, of who Millie is outside of 
the creator's horse of chaos and the extreme aggression and and the outcast. What is it? I mean, we we know a few of your facts. I mean, you're a vegetarian, mm, vegan. You're, oh, um, you're vegan. Yeah. Now. Oh, I'm sorry. So uh, I don't. I don't. I, I. I wouldn't know myself, man. I mean, do you know who you are? <laughs> Well, kind you of. know, you got pretty good identity. <laughs> yes, it's just that I'm not the public figure. Yeah, yeah but you know, US. you know that it's, it's just different. I'm, I'm, I can be, I can be like very private. Yeah, absolutely. And, and I, I no, and that's what I mean. I don't mean no, to no, be no, too no, personal. No, 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 I'm not. I'm just saying that during the day, I'm almost boring. You know, I, I wouldn't be the guy. I, I, I need the energy to be on stage. You know, be, be that person on stage. Mm -hmm. And when I'm off stage, I'm, I'm more like laid back and just don't wanna don't want to be involved Absolutely. with anything um, but which doesn't mean that I don't want to meet people but I just need a certain space for myself during the day yeah. and um, just to recharge my batteries and that's good and you know and it's just kind of like the, the whole beyond the idol if you will that, that normal lifestyle because you're vegan you're married and you're yeah. married in 2009 Uh, you know everything about me. Well, no. I said, well, we're trying to do research here, but you know, it's like you like to read a lot of books. You collect guitars, or do you just have a really you extensive yeah, guitar I, I, collection? I, I don't really collect guitars. Okay, but um, I have so many. I so, no, people, so it's an extensive. People word, always so. tend to give me guitars for free. <laughs> hey, check this out. Check this out. Check this out. You wouldn't believe it. I don't know where were we in Columbus, Ohio. I think uh -huh. um, there was this guy from. He was from somewhere. I think he was from Europe originally, moved mm -hmm. to Columbus, and he gave me a guitar as a present. I'm like, what? Are you sure? It's like, <laughs> yes, take it. I'm like, I can't take this. This is a guitar, man. <laughs> Give it to someone that doesn't have any guitars or, you know, some kid that, you know, does, can't afford a guitar. It's like, no, you got to take it. <laughs> <laughs> and now I got a guitar from a fan. Um, what I was about to say, though, is... It's um, a pretty cool thing. It's a great thing. Of course. That was, that was, I was really, I mean, I, I almost didn't take it, but then the guy was like, you take it, you yeah. take it, you know, and... And uh, it's even a Jackson. Um, what I was about to say is I'm um, endorsed by Jackson, and they give me so many guitars, man. Since, I, since I've been with this, this company, they threw so many guitars at me that I don't, I can't, I don't know where to put them. And, you know, I, I, think that, I think that guitars should be played all the time. You know, they have a soul in a way. And there's, that's why I give, like, guitars to other people. You know, not I, I. I don't give it to them, but they, you know, they, they mm -hmm. give it to them as long as they want to keep it, so they get played. Absolutely. You know, I, because I have uh, some friends that are like, oh, I don't know, I can't afford, a, 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 you know, like a good guitar. I'm like, hey, you can take mine. I have like 20 or something, <laughs> you know, and uh, it just, it just, I know that it's going to be played because I cannot play 20 guitars at once. That's why I sometimes I understand why people collect guitars, but I think it's. It's a, uh, I even though I have many guitars, I only play like three or two, two or three. You know, those are my favorites, and those are the ones that I'm. Yeah, gonna you're like. always gonna. Have you know what I mean? Course, yeah. And um, that's why I think it's a little bit, almost decadent to collect guitars. But it's a, it's a fun, <laughs> it's a fun hobby. I, I would love to be more into it, but I'm not. What else do you want to know? No, 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 no. Well, you know, I, I, I hate to go that. I mean, you don't like uh, too much TV. Uh, that's you what said, I, that said that it, yes, it I bugs do like, you. I, I do like I do like to, to watch TV. I just don't like the commercial breaks. Yeah, and, 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 it's and, on and, all the time. Yeah. And TV's and all I, around you. Know you and after I did this interview, we played. I don't know where we were. Um, in, I think it was, it was Columbus. Columbus yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and there was in the club, and not only in Columbus but also in Juliet, and I mm -hmm. think yesterday too. But I'm not sure. There's always the bar, <laughs> and there's the TV on while we're playing. Oh, yeah. I'm like. What the fuck we're playing? <laughs> <laughs> There was this guy right uh, at the meet and greet, right? Uh, they had a, like, one version of a box set that I never, uh, don't even own. For uh, they forgot for to send, yeah, they, for forgot, they forgot to send it to me. Was it the one with the, the one metal, metal. plate? Yeah. I have that one. I don't have it. There's only how come I, I don't have it? <laughs> how the hell you don't have it, man? I'll say I'll give you mine, but I probably wouldn't. No, 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 no. But it's just, it's uh, just well, because the other version. Forgot, maybe they forgot to send it to me. The uh, other version happens. doesn't have the metal plate. Exactly, on that's it. the one I got. And, uh, and yeah. I thought that's that was and that one's like a thousand, and the other one is yeah. like two hundred. Yeah, or but or I, I thought the the other the, the the one that I have is the only one that existed. 
maybe they told me but i just forgot about it and you then had to really pre 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 pre-order that shit yes. when it came out like yeah. the day it came out i was absolutely sold out uh but you know it's good that you got to see it i, I almost brought that one over <laughs> 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 but anyway thank you so much man. Right. we really appreciate it and you know it's like the best luck best success and thanks for the shout out all right appreciate it man <laughs>